Hello ladies and gentlemen, Callisto I Redux here with a brand new series, Thomas Was Alone. So, this is a game about rectangles. <laughs> yes, rectangles. And yet somehow I guarantee you will fall in love with these rectangles more than you have ever fallen in love with any other game character you ever have before and the scenery, the graphics are all made up of rectangles and yet somehow it is some of the most gorgeous graphics I have ever seen in the game of my life. So pretty much this game if the, is the epitome of less is more. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and start a new game and we are going to get to know Thomas we are going to fall in love with him. This program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the owls code as Thomas AT23612 wasn't special. Thomas was alone. He was special. Wow. The coders I didn't know that. To have. Stick, escape, start button. So we are gonna move as Thomas. And my guess of what that first sentence was, although I was not able to read the full thing, was, you know, uh, characters are generated out of hitboxes, and some coders apparently. Ooh, Thomas can jump. You know, this this is a hitbox. That's all he is. He's not a character. But he might end up being a character. So we'll figure this out. So let's continue to move this hitbox. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere, and he'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. We did a good job falling there. I know that much. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to... what's the word? Jump. Who would have thought the opposite of falling was jump? It worked! Thomas <laughs> had solved the great inverted fall mystery. Alright, who's not in love with Thomas at this point already? I am. That's all I have to say. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Push me gently, world. Falling is, is miraculous. That's all I have to say. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man, paranoia. Let's not get paranoid, Thomas. Oh, okay. I think we have reason to be paranoid now. Things are falling apart. Nonetheless, that was the end of that. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might, or might not, be important. Definitely moving. For moving in 
some sort of progression is not quite clear though. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was the becoming more complicated. Effects going on it here. always seemed to be one step the ahead of, of his Thomas. skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Oh. The world's testing me. I just failed. I just failed. Predominantly. Why can't I jump? Let's go, Thomas. This is our world. We can do this. To him in the description. The boiling, He's toxic, great. Glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. How do you know Thomas he made so well, sir? Note. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. Yes. <laughs> you are just as smart as Thomas is, aren't you? The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Is it just me or are things getting tricky now? As usual, I'm gonna skip a part of me just failing. Try to make this more enjoyable for my viewers. But here we are, Thomas, making it to a new portal. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Thomas is learning. Was evolving. I'm wished. learning. He had someone to share it with. <laughs> Fortunately, Thomas is alone. Come on, Thomas. Maybe we could find someone if we continue. Make it. Make it. At some point, turns out I missed the point, because... Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? I think we have more than one person now. So Thomas cannot fit into this portal. However, he can into this one. QEL button. Now we're gonna be this guy. Whoever he may be. Chris had been doing fine. Chris! He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Oh. Well, not See actually. It. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Come on, Chris, you can make it. Apparently he's not as graceful as we might have thought. Maybe we could, uh... Get a guy here to help him out. Come on, Thomas. To help Chris! I 
think about teamwork now. made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch-pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Come on, guys. This isn't... This isn't a competition. We're in it together. was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Mm, little Red. Call me Chris Thomas. couldn't shake the feeling that things my had taken name. a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Entire plot points, shall we not? seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would Hurry. be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Tell me you don't love Thomas and Chris. And if you really hate them, then maybe I won't continue this Let's Play series. But unless you will tell me that, this is what's in store for Callisto Ivory Dux's Let's Play series. Thomas and Chris... When Thomas was alone, there are many more characters to for us to get familiar with. And I hope you enjoyed the series. Until next time.